Rarity appropriates the culture of a field-working earth pony for the sake of trying to catch the attention of Trenderhoof, because he's in love with Applejack. For this, I'd compare it to if there was a white girl that I loved, who was in love with my black friend because she was attracted to his interest in hip-hop and his street accent, not because those things actually appealed to her as well, but because she saw them as something novel for being black culture. And then I tried to catch her attention by dressing in baggy jeans and yelling 2 chains lyrics all the time. I'm pretty sure that my black friend is going to get pissed off at me eventually. Hmm. Can't believe I actually agree for once. Twilight, I don't see him! What if he doesn't arrive? The whole festival will be a disaster! Twilight, where is he? <clears throat> Sorry. It's halfway into season four, and finally, finally, we have a bad episode. The first bad rarity episode in the entire series. Forgive me if I withhold my enthusiasm. It's sort of ironic now that I think about it. Last week I loved an episode with my second least favorite pony of the main six, at least as the start of season four, and the week after I despised an episode from my second favorite. It's weird in a very karmatic yin yang sort of way, isn't it? First I'll tackle the love triangle who's, well, the best praise I've heard was a meh. <sighs> Look, I love love stories. I'm a freaking addict of shoujo series. Heck, most of my videos end with a remix from a shoujo series clip, in fact. So yes, I'm open to love stories and shipping characters, not live for life. So no, I do not hate that there was a love triangle just because there was a love triangle. I hate it because it was a bad one riddled with uncreative uses of cliches. Fimo Lee tries to change herself because a guy she loves does not notice her because he loves her friend. Gee, I wonder how that will turn out. What makes this worse is that we never really are shown why she loves Trender. Yes, we are told why, but we're never really shown why. He is supposed to be a brilliant art columnist, but the closest we get to seeing it is a short one-shot poetic line. Apples high to the sky, she's the one of my eye. That fruit hauling pony named Applejack. Contrast this with Rarity's past crushes. Prince Bluebud was shown to be a high society prince, a jerk to be certain, but we can definitely see the noble blood about him. And then we have Fancy Pants, who is shown to be the heart of Cancelot High Society. I get why she would be interested in them, but not why she would be interested in a ponified hipster, to the point of keeping his hair clippings. Well, at least we are shown the reason for his infatuation with AJ. It's this lack of justification, though, for Rarity's infatuation that amplifies my distaste for her later actions. That brings me to Country Rarity. <sighs> Look, I enjoyed Rarity's initial insanity and her early efforts to rough it up. But bucking Celestia is her later acts just uncomfortable to watch. Brady's Hicks Southern act fails both dramatically and comedically. It does not work because Tabitha's voice acting is stuck between tongue in cheek and serious. It's like if his sci fi movie tried to play itself straight but stopped halfway. There's an art to doing something purposely bad for parody, but Rarity's lines and deliveries just don't match up to that. Instead, it comes off as a pathetically bad attempt at Southern accent. The kind I'm used to hearing all the time, in fact, in Northern Kentucky, by people that are quote unquote being Southern too. It's a caricature that is slightly offensive in its stereotypical nature. The loose overalls are a face palm all their own. Look, I don't blame Tabitha for her performance here, as her rarity's performance in general is still my favorite voice acting from the main six, but this particular performance just reeks of bad directing. On top of this, there are rather questionable remarks by Trinder. You know, I have such respect for the work ethic of Earth ponies. Uh, gee, thanks. Look, I don't hate negative portrayal of characters if you did not pick up from my glowing review of Rainbow Falls. However, the point of negative portrayal is to create a flaw that benefits the narrative or rounds out the characters. Rarity being a moron to this degree adds nothing really, but just takes up too much time. With all that said, there are two admirable aspects of Simple Ways, AJ and Spike. Spike serves wonderfully as a voice of reason to Rarity's crush on Trender by contrasting it with his own. Spike is the expert on unrequired love after all, and this episode is not going to let you forget that. Spike, however, is not the only one to add some good comedy. I said good comedy. 
which oddly enough is provided by Applejack. She serves as her own voice of reason to call out both other corners of the love triangle stupidity, while at the same time helping round out her own character. And I don't know any pony who's that interested in farming. Not even me! Look, I love Rarity and also love Tabitha's voice acting of Rarity and other characters. Most of the time. But this episode's latter performance was just cringe-inducing, along with a love story that's even worse than EQG's. This is Rarity's mysterious ne'er-do-well moment, the lowest point of enjoyment for me in this series since, well... The Princess Twilight's coming, behold, behold. That is why I have to give Rarity's first bad episode one hoof out of four. However, season four is still going strong, with only one in 13 episodes being bad in my mind. I can only hope it keeps up this quality ratio. Well, till next time, keep calm and an open mind. Didn't expect the trailer this soon. Well, anyway, I can only hope it's a directed video adaptation this time, or well, directed TV and then to video. Because I'm getting a very strong OVA feel, and then as a more direct fan service spin off project akin to Fairy Tales Fairy Academy and Fairy Tale X Rave Master crossover OVA specials. Meant to be entertaining, but not influence the series proper. Well, at the very least, we can look forward to getting more songs.